What's up you guys, it's D-Machine here, and I'm bringing you a top 5 list today of the best comps in 5.4.7 or 5.4.8, whatever patch we're on, the top 5 best comps, in my opinion. Number 5 on my list is KFC. It's basically Warrior, Hunter, Healer. Uh, more commonly, a Resto Shaman. The reason why this is number 5 on my list is because of how much pressure this team brings to the table. Hunters do a decent amount of sustained damage, Warriors do an awesome amount of sustained damage, and then the CC chain that you get from a Storm Bolt into a trap is pretty amazing, and it's all instant. So this comp is really easy to just pick up and learn, and it's also a really good uh, gateway comp for players to understand high level arena. So I'm also going to put Rhett Hunter Healer, Windwalker Monk Hunter Healer, uh, Enhancement, Feral Hunter Healer, all those comps I'm going to put them in the same category at this top 5 of KFC because they're about the, all the same in reality. I mean every class brings a little bit something different to the table, Rhett's can get people out of CC, Windwalker Monks have a lot of uh, uh, stuns and Enhancement have their little zap and tremor, I mean they all bring something different to the table. but they all are going to stay in my fifth place. Number four is Hunter Lock Shaman. This comp can be insanely good. Insane spread pressure, amazing control, but it takes quite a bit of synergy to make this comp work efficiently. There's no real big execute. I mean, there's kill shot, but there's no real big chunk. There's no real big burst damage from this comp. So it's just gonna be like, a a control and a rock cleave. <laughs> uh, so that's why it's number four is because of how hard it is to make this comp work. Number three, Warrior Mage Druid or Warrior Mage Monk. Now this comp is number three on my list because of the consistent pressure a warrior brings and the control a mage brings. With the warrior peeling, just their passive peels from hamstring and even their stuns give the mage so much breathing room to be able to really set up those CC, set up those deep in orb, and really land some pressure. I think that this comp is an amazing comp for a newer player, or even a 2200 plus player, to really understand high end arena and really start understanding trading those cooldowns in control. Number 2. Mage Lock Shaman. This comp brings a lot of spammable CC, and spammable CC can be used for peeling and for landing a kill. The pressure that a mage has every one minute is pretty bananas with orb, and then the consistent pressure from a warlock uh, makes this comp really, really, really hard to deal with for a lot of different comps. So this comp is able to beat a variety of different teams. Now it's not necessarily a hard counter to anything in particular right now, but it definitely is something that's annoying to deal with for just about anyone. Not to mention Three Amigos is my favorite team. And number one, best comp in World of Warcraft at this current patch goes to, you guessed it, it's LSD. Now LSD is an amazing comp, not just because of its ridiculous CC, it's amazing burst potential at any given time, or even it's absurd amount of ability to survive, but because it's also the most hated comp in the freaking game right now. LSD has a pa has passive healing from both the Warlock, the Shaman, and the Druid, or it can also be used with the Monk. This comp is just so annoying right now. It has an amazing ability to survive and bring the game to their advantage. And there's nothing you can do about it if they play smart. And when I say you, I mean every comp. This team can beat any freaking viable comp right now just because they can bring the game to Dampener and really put the game into their favor. Now. LSD may be really, really annoying to face, but it is still really, really fun watching an elemental shaman proc 16 million meatballs in someone's face when it's not you getting the meatballs in your face. Thank you very much for listening to me and watching this video. This is my top five list. If you don't agree with my top five list, let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to check it out and take your opinion into consideration. Till next time, D-Machine Blast Off.